going on YouTube. Got another update here for the hot tub aquaponic. You see in this garden. Uh, right here, 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 and here. I've got some uh, radicchios. And right over here, I've got some kale. And they're right over there with my strawberries, which, like I said, they are perking up nice and tall. Starting to get some brand new growth over there. Uh, all of my lettuces, the basil, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, everybody over here is looking good. This pepper, not so good. It's still looking kind of droopy. The ebb and flow of this bed has been on for at least the last week now. I haven't had any more problems with this bed. Uh, right over here, my okra is standing up nice and tall, as you can see. Brand new growth. It's really starting to take off now. These tomatoes standing up nice and tall, just like tomatoes do. <laughs> the uh, two peppers on the end are still looking very crappy. Um, just sitting here waiting for them to die or take off. Eggplant actually looks like it's doing something now. It's actually starting to green up pretty good, but uh, who knows what that thing's going to end up doing. My sucker right here looking pretty. Uh, stand up nice and tall, just like this purple basil, as well as the uh, regular basil right beside it. The peppers here are still all looking crappy. As you can see in the hydro tube here, everybody's looking very nice. But uh, my strawberries are really starting to pop up some new growth there, both of them. And uh, as well as all of my new uh, winter crops here, the kale, the uh, red lettuce, the iceberg, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, all those guys. Still have room for a few more. I'm um, going to grab a couple more, put them in there from this side. You can see a little better of uh, some of these guys on this side, like the Brussels sprouts. They're all looking very beautiful. Strawberries, as usual, they're just overflowing out of the box here, as you can see. Um, literally, if you look from this side, I've got just runners going all over the place. Um, they're actually starting to choke out these two peppers here. As you can see, here's one right here, and here's the other right here. And they're actually starting to choke these guys out. So I'm going to let them do their things because this is going to be an all strawberry box. And when you look from over here, the other bed over there, that growth on those tomatoes are looking real nice. And when you get over here and look, uh, as I said, these tomatoes are gigantic. And these are the two back here that uh, were really, really damaged by the uh, one, uh, whatever that was, hook worm, or uh, tomato hornworm or whatever. But uh, I have been finding a couple more of the little varieties of these uh, little caterpillar looking things that are eating my crops. And I really have had a lot of fun pulling them off and throwing them into the fish tank and watching the fish eat them. It's another uh, fun thing you can do with uh, aquaponic garden. Just like uh, with your regular garden, give all your uh, garden waste to the chickens. They love that stuff too. As you can see, these peppers are finally starting to uh, flower and everything. And they're standing up nice and tall, just like that uh, sucker right there in the center. That's a sucker as well as this guy. He's looking beautiful as well. Apple tree, still looking nice. And these guys right here, as you can see, my cantaloupe, another cantaloupe right here, and uh, right here is my um, watermelon, as well as another watermelon popping up right here. As you can see, the water level is up a little bit this week, and that is because last night, well yesterday, uh, I guess the night before yesterday and yesterday, it rained so much that we gained like uh, two or three inches in here. Uh, the water level, I usually judge by uh, that pipe right here, by that lower pipe there. Uh, that is the pump line coming out of the water, and I made it that way because that's about where the water level should be. And there's been times where it's been over that pipe, and times like a few days ago where it was like three or four inches below that pipe. All right. mm -hmm. And that's a quick tour around. And that's all I got for this week. So, till next week. Later.